Hey guys, I want to give you a breakdown on your dryer here. So, upon taking the back off, first I plugged it in, ran it, and there was absolutely no heat. It wasn't getting hot at all, which told me that it either broke down to being the heating element or one of these sensors here, these two sensors right here. This is a high limit thermistor. What this does is if this whole section here gets too hot, this shuts down keeps anything from catching on fire. It's a, called a safety thermistor. But now this down here is what's called a high limit um, cycling thermostat. And so as this thing heats up, gets to a certain temperature, it clicks off and then allows it to just kind of run on the heat. And then when it starts to cool off again, kicks back on and it just does that cycle. And that's how your clothes get clean. And of course the heating element is wrapped up in here. Um, so being that there was absolutely no heat coming from this, first thing I checked was this guy here and it was bad. Um, I know you said you checked it, but something to note here is that if you don't pull these off all the way, you won't get an accurate reading. So um, if you backed it up like this, or if one was still on there and you tested it like that, it might have given you continuity, but I pulled them off all the way and checked it, no continuity. So this guy was tripped here. Um, so the important thing to check then, what causes that? Well, this overheating causes this to trip. And there's only a couple things that can cause this here to overheat. One being that this cycling thermostat doesn't work, so it allows it just to heat up and it gets hotter and hotter and hotter and gets so hot that it trips this and just shuts the whole thing down. That's not the case here. I went ahead and tested this guy and it cycled four times for me, so it's working perfectly. I also tested it with my multimeter and it has the appropriate range of resistance, so it's good to go. Which leads me to believe, now I checked through the inside of here, of course I always clean these out, but I double check just to make sure nothing fell down in here, and it's all good, it's all clean, which, which means then that this right here at some point would have had to have gotten blocked off, um, which means the hose could have gotten kinked when pushed up against the wall, sometimes if it folds over on itself, then it'll stop the airflow, which backs this up, which overheats this and trips that sensor. Or it could be from the side of the house out to wherever it goes. Uh, your dad had said that you would tried talking through it and that sounded good, but um, if it were me, I'd go ahead and hook a leaf blower up to it and blow it out. Or for like 13 or 14 bucks, you can buy a kit with this really long wire brush looking thing that will go through and spiral clean it out and you end up with all the stuff. Um, Cause that's gotta be it at this point. I checked everything else, the timer, these other components, which have to do with, this is a thermal fuse here. So if there was ever uh, a severe power surge through the machine before it got down to the motor or damaged anything else, that would blow. Essentially that shuts down all the electronics on this. And then this is a thermostat that controls the um, auto temperature, which works perfectly now after resetting this here. So, um, you know, if you have this problem again, I think if you get all those lines and everything cleaned out and make sure that uh, maybe get a non-collapsible right here to go to the side of your house or wherever it's hooked up, you can buy this for a little bit more. They're just round and they're, uh, they, they are like an accordion thing. They'll maneuver, but they won't collapse. So I think, uh, about the same price you can get them at Walmart. Might try that. Otherwise, if you have the issue, uh, again, in the future, pop these off, check this first. And if it is the issue, just take this screw out. This comes off and you can whack it against the ground. That resets it. If you watch that video, no sense in spending 20 bucks on one of these. The little piece inside of here is resettable. That's how that works. So, um, that's what I've done. I've also gone through and checked, like I said, timer, all that stuff. It's all good. And now it's working perfectly. So, uh, I'll get this uploaded and sent out to you and get you fixed up. Thanks.